What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into Barley Studios. We're going to jump into a new project here. I have an open slate here on my workstation. I know it's kind of messy, but it just shows I do lots of crafts. So I ordered two skull silicone molds off of Amazon. I've been wanting these for a while, and I've been wanting to make some realistic painted skulls to go on my craft station and maybe sell. Uh, so I ordered these off Amazon. I'm not disappointed so far. Of course, I haven't used them yet. Uh, but they're very clean, very sturdy, and I think they're going to last a long time. So I'm going to use Plaster of Paris during this project build, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and mix that up, and we're going to pour ourselves some skulls. So for this project, I decided to go with Plaster of Paris. I bought two boxes at Walmart for around $4.65 to $5 each, um, and it's enough to make quite a few skulls. Uh, I like this because it has a quick set time. Uh, I can remove the uh, silicone molds from the uh, item within about 30 minutes or so. And then it fully cures within about 24 hours. Now I had did a water displacement test on these silicone molds. So I marked on the Tupperware container where I needed to fill to, uh, to have enough. And for some reason my, my math was just completely off. So I had to go back and mix two more batches, uh, smaller batches than this, but uh, to get it done. Now during this process, I may or may not have forgot to clean up the Tupperware container and it is destroyed and in the trash. Don't tell my wife. I know that my daughter is here watching me do this process and she's an accomplice that I can try to get as many of those bubbles out. Uh, the recommendations for a plaster of Paris is to pour in, uh, in uh, you know, three, uh, three different pours so that way you get as many bubbles out as possible. Uh, and I did do that. Now I time lapse this of course and you don't see me having to go back and mix up, uh, more plaster over and over and over again. Okay, maybe not over and over and over again, just two times. Making sure I get as much of those bubbles out as possible, and I'm going to kind of slightly, barely overfill those because I do want to sand the bottom so that they just have a, have a completely smooth uh, base. So originally, like I said, I wanted to make some realistic looking skulls. I think these are going to be great. It's going to be really fun. Um, I'll probably have to buy like an oil based spray paint to go over these to base coat them before I add some acrylics. I don't know how well acrylics work over plaster of Paris, so I'll have to look into that. But I would like to do some acrylic pours and some things like that. So I think that my general idea of this is going to expand into like an entire series. And it's just a fun process. As I'm demolding these, you can see where some of the bubbles in the cheeks did not. Uh, uh, did not come to the top so there's one cheek on one of them that is uh is has a void in it and then a few of the teeth on the other one are missing not a big deal not worried about it at all and once i get some acrylics and some paints on these things they're gonna look absolutely cool so like i said i'll probably do an entire playlist specifically on us just doing different color pours and glitters and all sorts of fun fun techniques to these things and it's just supposed to be kind of fun if this is something that people may be interested in purchasing me and my daughter may create and sell these uh just because it's kind of a quick fun and uh and just artistic design and it's something that me and her can do that, that will allow us to get into the studio and, and, and have fun crafting. I appreciate you watching and I hope you uh, follow our steps and kind of have fun with the Plaster of Paris making simple silicone molds uh, and just enjoy being uh, in the craft studio. Later guys!